everyone welcome back to a new video in this video i'm going to be doing a an unboxing spd haul spd london haul and swatching and a design because we're going to do a design as well if i remember i'll put a timestamp at the bottom so if you don't want to watch the swatching you just want to watch the design you can um this is the palette the spd london palette these are the gel paints. I love the little bottles these are in. And underneath those, if, if I get round to it, hiding underneath the gel paints are some gel polishes from the New York collection. They are absolutely stunning. And I don't feel like they do any... I don't feel like the camera does them any justice. I feel you need to see them in like the flesh because they're really, really gorgeous. Can we just take a minute to appreciate the packaging as well? I love the blue and the I love the hollow look. It's hollow. Mm, so pretty. Also, if you follow them on Instagram, there was a post up yesterday or the day before or recently. Um, they're having new bottles and the bottles are purple by the looks and they look amazing. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled. Right, this is the gel paint. This is the packaging the gel paints come in. They've got numbers at the bottom, so you know what numbers they, what numbers the colours correspond to. Does that make sense? I always say that. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> the, um, I I'll tell you what I do with them in a minute, if I get there. What am I doing? Right, yeah, so we're going to swatch all of these. I put them all in order. These little discs, these little clear discs in this packet these were from amazon i think i can't remember they come with double-sided round stickers so you can swatch your color on top of the disc and top coat it and then you like stick it to the top of your bottles now these are ideal for the spd spd london um bottles because they've got nice flat tops so you can put these on um see these are the double-sided stickers and then i'll show you what i do in a minute my dogs are annoying me <laughs> right i'm just gonna show you the palette look there's my ugly mug <laughs> i don't know why i show you it because i'm sure i showed you the palette at the beginning there we go that's gonna go back in i'm gonna use that for the design so we're not gonna put that oh yeah and that's the little like spatula tool thing you get with it um yeah um, 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 um. so it's a pump bottle you don't have to pump much and it just it comes out it's like all of it you just yeah look there it is Woo. It's just like a little squirt <laughs> so the first i think it was like the first one or two that i swatched the the colors were a little bit on the sheer side so i did have to put two coats on just covering the little thingy i do it on the top i swatch on the top um you can do it i can't remember if i've done it on the bottom before but i've done it on the top and i'll do two coats and i will top coat and i the top coat i'm going to be using is the no white top coat from spd london so this is my second coat this one i'm pretty sure this was number one and this had a gold shimmer through it which i will show you in a second i was trying to get it nice and flat and eat i was like it was, i was just faffing look this is the this is the one with the gold shimmer but the other ones are solid colors other than this like the silver and the gold are kind of look this is all of them together so i've done all the swatches and i've put the little things on the top so now if i want a particular color I can, you know, just go, oh, look, there it is, and grab it. So the gold and the silver and the black all had tacky layers. The other ones cured with no tacky layer. So you could use those on top of a finished nail, which I'm going to do in this design in a minute. You'll see it in a minute. So before I do the design, I'm going to quickly swatch the New York collection colours for you. These are beautiful holographic like fine holographic glittered like gel polishes that's what i try i'm trying to say the first ones normally i do each swatch individually but just because the video is gonna 
start getting a bit too long i decided to do one coat of each of the color and then i'm going to show you it with the second coat so this is number one number two and number three the collections are usually numbered so like you'll have new york city one new york city two you see what i mean and like the other see look i don't i feel like the camera doesn't do them any justice i feel like you need to see them in real life i'm going to move on to four five and six which i think are probably my favorite ones out of the whole collection this one looks more red on on the camera but it is more it's more pink it's like a bright pink it's really really pretty i and oh i have no words for the for the purple well you know you know i'm gonna love the purple because i love purple it's an amazing purple and i love the silver as well silver just goes with everything pretty much silver and gold are just like yeah yeah um, all right so this is the second coat billy oh gosh that dog all right this is the second coat aren't they lovely right then i'm gonna do seven and eight there are actually nine colors in this collection no there's not there's ten there's 10 i lied there's 10 this is the gold see again the gold's got some hollow in it so that is gonna you can, you can get that with every you can put that with anything probably pretty much i reckon and that is a red so there's there's the there's two two coats on there and then we're gonna do nine and ten now uh, you know i'm gonna be a fan of number nine number nine's a lilac -y purple Oh, it's really pretty. And the last one is like a, it's not got, I don't want to call it gold, but it's like, it's more of a yellow. Well, yellow there. <laughs> what even? What was that? I don't know what that was. Okay, so second coat on. I do top coat all the swatches with um, SBD London's No Wipe Top Coat. I don't know where my temper and top coat's gone. I've got it. I've got to be somewhere. But I just grabbed the first SPD top coat that I had, which was the. Um, I did have. I do have a matte one as well, but I don't want to use the matte one because they're holographic. There we go. This is them all together. They look much nicer in real life. I, oh, they're so. Oh, they're pretty. Oh. <laughs> no, don't start fighting now, you two little scallywags. Come here, you. Right. So I'm going to use as well Team Gorgeous number one, which is a white. You can also buy the white color like individually. They do sell individual colors. You don't have to buy collections. So I'm going to do one coat of white because we're going to do a marble on this nail. And we're going to marble like pretty much the whole nail. So if we have any like if there's any sort of like what do you call it? What do you call those the patches? If you, if there's any like patches, we're gonna cover them up anyway. So I've put like lines on my palette of Team Gorgeous number one, number four, number five, number six, and number nine. So that was the the sort of fuchsia pink, the dark purple, the light purple, the silver, and the the white. I think that's all of them. And I'm just putting lines across each other on my palette don't forget the silver so i think these colors are just mm, showing what's this one? Oh, this was the this was the lilac this one okay then i'm going to place some blooming gel just a a, a layer not not thick a nice sort of even layer of blooming gel onto my tip don't cure that then I use a an ombre brush. You can use a flat brush to do this. Just scoop through the colour and then float it over your uncured blooming gel and you will start to see the colour disperse and you just get this really nice marbly, marbly look. You can put it... I, I'm just sort of randomly placing the gel polish on the nail. It doesn't have to be just however you want to put it on really. 
and then you can leave it for a few seconds and let the color sort of spread out a bit or you can if you're happy just pop it in the lamp i like to just squidge the side with my finger to get off any excess but i don't show you me doing that um, if you do it make sure you're wearing a glove because you don't want to get uncured product on your finger on your skin sorry don't get it on your skin it's very very bad practice <laughs> do as i say not as i do right on this one i'm putting two coats and some blooming gel because i've got some of the gel polish on the palette left over and i didn't want to waste it i hate waste if i put like colors on a palette and i can scoop it up and put it back in my bowl i will <laughs> i'm terrible i'm really terrible so i'm gonna scoop up some color and place this on in sort of like two i want to say two rows uh, but that's not the right word two two swoops swoops is that probably not the right word either like i'm just making sure there's a gap as well so like look two two like two swoops i'm gonna put a little bit in the top right hand corner as well but look, you can already see the colour starting to disperse and spread. I just, there's, I tell you what, if you're on Instagram, go and check out Rachel Wilder's Instagram account. Because she does, um, she does marbles, gel polish marbles. On, and it's just like, I just love watching it. And her marbles are amazing. Like, oh, love them. Okay, so now we're back to the nails. I'm going to use matte top coat and no wipe top coat so the no wipe top coat is gonna go on to the marbled nails because these are they've got holographic glitter through them and holographic glitter should not ever be covered in a matte gel polish in my opinion if it's iridescent it's fine if it's metallic it's fine if it's hollow i think hollow just needs to be shiny it just needs to be shiny and then on the white i am going to apply the matte top coat because i am going to put some of the the gel the gel paint we're going to do a, a pattern on on this and i'm going to apply some crystals at the end and i kind of like it when you have a set of nails with a shiny and matte finished nails it kind of like just adds a little bit of contrast is that the right word I say these words and I don't really know what they mean. <laughs> no, I do know what contrast means. I think I do. I think I've said it in the right context. Anyway, right, look. This is the the white matte finish now. So I'm going to use number 14. And I'm going to... I've cleaned off my palette. I'm going to put 14 on. I'm just going to put a little blob. little blob. And then we're going to take number... What number is it? Why have I got 24 in my head? I don't know it's probably not even 24 this one which is number oh it is number 24 <laughs> oh my gosh first time for everything <laughs> and then i'm gonna take one of the lighter pink colors which is number two everyone needs a number two <laughs> every now and then even ladies yes yes boys that's right ladies do number twos as well right anyway we don't want to talk about that on the matte finish nail right because these gel polish gel paints sorry um right yeah most of them cured with a non-tacky layer so the only ones that felt a little bit tacky were the silvery the silver one the gold one and the black one they felt like they had a tacky layer the rest completely smooth so we're gonna apply the gel paint to our finished top coated nail to create our design and on this design on sorry on this nail i thought i would do i love these like i can't even remember the name of the particular billy don't wind up ted he's like he's like a right little poo bag and then he'll get teddy going and then it's like oh god it's like headache time um i don't know what these leave i like i like leaves i like this kind of foliage design i think it's really nice especially in well i mean i think you can use this any time of year especially it just depends what color like you could do it in spring and you could use like pastel colors you could do it in summer and use neon colors you don't have to use like greens you know you could do it in winter and use like blues and silvers do you know what i mean i just think it's one of those ones that you can change to suit the time of year do you know what you know 
Do you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do two, two, two little like branches. They're not branches, but you know what I mean. In this darker purple, I'm gonna just finish this one off now. I'll do it off camera. Each time I finish a branch, I'm just going to call it a branch. I don't know what it is. It's a frong or something, isn't it? I don't know. Um, I'm going to just put it in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. I think they need 60 seconds to cure, but I just do it I just do it for 30. And then at the end, I will give them a full 60 second cure. I then do a branch or a, a throng. Frong? I don't know. With the, the lighter purple. I kind of like these because they're sort of muted purples. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this in. Also, if they do slightly overlap, don't worry about it. That's absolutely fine. In fact, I kind of like it when they overlap. Mine don't really. They do overlap ever so slightly, but like not, you know, not terribly. Um, but I do like. I kind of like that when they overlap. So don't worry if they do. It's absolutely fine. It's you know. And besides, leaves can go anywhere. It's not like they have to be separate. Do you know what I mean? In the in the wild, in the jungle, leaves sort of you know merge into one big leafy mess you know it's just how it goes i'm waffling a bit now can you hear the workmen outside it's actually pretty quiet for them but i can still hear them i also need to go to the toilet but i'm going to finish this voiceover oh it's painful it's painful um when i finish this one i'm going to pop it in the lamp and i will give it a 30 second cure as well because we're going to pop one more oh my gosh i feel like i'm going to blow off don't do it on don't do it now don't do it now. Hold it in. Hold it in. Oh, it's painful. Shush. No one needs to talk about your toilet habits and your windy habits. I'm very windy though. Does anyone else have wind a lot? Like, I think it's probably my diet because my diet's terrible. By the way, I'm going on a diet. It's official. I've got to do it. I know I keep saying it, but I've really got to do it. Oh, I hate diets. Oh, there they go. The workmen are saying hi. Hi. We want to get involved in your video. Donk, 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 donk. Um, this is the pink. This one was it's it's a little bit like it's not as it doesn't seem as pigmented as the purples. I don't know if it's because it's a lighter colour, but it's still a nice pretty pink. And I've got prink prink. I've got prink in the other nails, so I wanted a pink. <laughs> I don't know why I've kept all this in. I'm gonna speed it up. there we go so now that is done i will pop that whole nail in the lamp for 60 seconds so we're going to have like the matte background with the shiny leaves on i think that looks quite nice i also decided to add a couple of like leafy leafy leaves on the marble nail as well just so that that design sort of carries on through the set a little bit then i dug out some crystals because i thought we'd have some crystals so um oh, i can't even see what we've got feet trail light I had violet i had um most of these are preciosa these didn't have anything on the on the pot so i don't know what they are um what's that say fuchsia preciosa i've got rose preciosa yeah um i've got swarovski purple velvet um and some silver caviar beads i think i've said them all but i might not have done i don't know i just thought the silver would the silver would because we've got silver hollows. So I was like, right, we're going to have some silver, um, some silver beads. So I have sped this up because honestly, at the time, I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I'd do a kind of cluster because I don't really ever do clusters. I do more like necklacey, necklace designs, you know, where they come down from the, the top corners down the middle. Whereas this time I was like, right, we're going to do a cluster. So I'm just randomly adding crystals to the to the to the nail. Honestly, I don't really know what I was doing. If you feel like you want to, you can cure the nails, sorry, the cure the stones as you go. If you are a little bit more confident, you can just keep adding um, and then yeah, just cure when you want. But sometimes it's quite good to just keep flash curing um, and then your, your stones aren't going to go anywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of the, I think these are the fuchsia ones at the top. And then I do, yeah, I'm going to come off, off and I'll add some 
other bits and pieces, caviar beads and whatnot. Okay, so these are the caviar beads that are going to go on. I do this off camera because this can be fiddly and it takes a little while. So I'm going to show you them done. This is the, yeah, that is the cluster done. The design finished. I'll show you a better close up. I say a better close up, it's probably no better really. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave the website to SBD London in the description box below. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Um, have an amazing weekend and I will see you beautiful lot on Monday with a brand new video. Love you all. Bye.